Hi, this is Robin Bremer, and today I am going to share on uh, words and faith. First of all, the world was created with words, and God said we're created in His image. So everything that we speak has the potential to create life. And God said uh, in the beginning, God said, let there be light, let there be this, and let there be that, and there was. Uh, he had faith in his words. He believed in his words. And because he believed what he said he would receive, he had it. And he told us that faith comes from hearing and hearing the word. So it's kind of like a, a circle. The more that we hear of what God says about us, and the more we say what God says about us, the more we believe it or the more we have faith in it. But really it comes down to this simple little thing. Faith is simply believing God is true, that what God said is the truth. It's just believing God. It's like if your dad says he's going to go get you some ice cream and he leaves the house and comes back 15 minutes later, you expect him to be coming back with ice cream because you believe what he says. And the reason that you can believe what your father says is because you have a relationship with him. And in our new covenant, um, the whole new covenant is about a relationship with the Holy Spirit and the words that we speak. And the words that we speak should always agree with what God's word said, says. We should never be speaking words that are about the situation because we can change any situation when we speak the words of God, when we believe the words of God. Uh, Jesus gave a really great illustration uh, in the Bible where he said he said okay the words that I speak my father does them basically he was saying that he speaks it and the Holy Spirit does it and that's what the Holy Spirit is in us to do is to bring the words that we speak that are lined up with God's words to pass so um, words are life and death uh, in Proverbs it says that your words are life and death and in Genesis 1, it talks about how God created the whole world with words and how we're created in His image. In John 6:63, 6, it talks about how words are life, alive, and uh, they are spirit. And also says that faith comes from hearing and hearing the word. Uh, we're um, human beings have pictures in their head we communicate by pictures we see in our head and speaking those pictures into words so what you say is very very important some other things uh, the word of God is alive and powerful sharper than a double-edged sword that's Hebrews 4:12. Uh, the word is truth and Jesus was the word and he became flesh so you see you can take the word and the word can become the word is spirit but it can become physical into this physical world through speaking it out loud and believing it and knowing who you are in Christ Jesus that Christ Jesus that you've been given that authority and dominion and that's it for today and I'll talk to you later